of y'all. Um, I want to show you something cool. I want to read you this book called The Orange Bird. It's cute, ain't it? <laughs> sure is. Let's start, shall we? The Orange Bird. Let's start reading. Um, let's see here. Welcome to Florida. Florida is a home is the home of beautiful beaches, space age rocket ships, and the sunshine tree. Yep. Here, move the book a little closer. Um, what's the sunshine tree? It's an orange tree unlike any other. Not just because it's orange it is are the tastiest, but because it's the home of our new friend, the orange bird. Aw, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Who's the orange bird? A farmer once asked that question too. I've never seen a bird like you before, said the farmer. And he had all kinds of birds in, at his farm. Aw. <laughs> so cute, ain't it? <laughs> the orange bird had leaves for wings and, and an orange for a head. But really, really... But what really means, what really made him different was a fact that he couldn't sing, chirp, or whistle. Instead, the orange bird made pictures above his head in an orange cloud like magic. <laughs> so cute, ain't it? The farmer's other birds couldn't make pictures over their heads. They couldn't even draw pictures. Luckily, the orange bird could teach them. Aw. There's the Ataquan from the Three Caballeros. Yep. He's so cute, ain't it? <laughs> Every day, the birds helped the farmer. They checked all the oranges to see if they were round, plump, and perfect for picking. Juicy. Yummy. <laughs> right? Okay. Um, when the birds were done, the farmer loaded the tr his truck and put his cat Clementine in the house, then took his oranges to the market. Uh-huh. Yep. Very nice, ain't it? Once the birds were finished, it was playtime. Swimming in the pool, riding goats, eating sit kitters sick uh, citrus swirls. Yeah. I could say that. <clears throat> While the birds had fun outside, Clementine sat inside the house and watched. She didn't want to play with the birds. She wanted to catch them. Uh-oh. One day, Clementine got her chance. The farmer had left the window open. Clementine leaped for a bird. And with her paws and claws outstretched, she managed to nab it mid-fight. Oh, that's not good. Yep, yeah, that's not good. The bird squirreled 
the birds squawked for help, but the other birds were scared of Clementine. She was big, strong, and mean. Mm. That's not good, is it? <laughs> the orange bird knew he had to do something. He was afraid, but he, but his friends needed help. So he gathered all his courage and spray, sprang into action. Good. Oh, mm hmm. He made a picture of a big sign, a big stop sign, up here above his head. Clementine only hissed and knocked him away. That's not nice. The orange bird thought maybe a growling dog could, would scare the cat but off, but Clementine ignored that too. Then he had an idea, a big one. Yep, like from Toy Story, the big one. Let's see. The orange bird made his biggest picture yet. It was a picture of a farmer of the farmer. Clementine knew it was fake, but the then the picture suddenly yelled, Clementine <laughs> yeah, Hilarious, huh? She's scared now. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, the real farmer stepped through the cloud and grabbed Clementine. That's no way to treat your friends, Clementine, he said. <laughs> That's so cool, huh? <laughs> the pages were stuck together, but I dealt with it. As the farmer put Clementine back in the house, all the birds cheered for the orange bird. He had saved the day. Now, oh, now our new friend was in orange for a head and leaves for the wings, for a wing, for wings, silly me, would be everyone's friend forever. Isn't he cute? <laughs> um, did you like my story? It was so impressive, huh? I did a great job, didn't I? The pages got... The pages just got stuck together. It was so impressive, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm glad you liked my story. That's the end of sto that's the end of the video. Goodbye, guys. I love you. Mwah. And uh, here's a wave. You said bye to Orange Bird. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Bye, guys.